Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to make sambar using Shakti sambar powder. You can also use MTR sambar powder because I feel they both uh, almost taste the same. So you can use either of it. So let's get started. Here I have taken two radish. Make sure you add two radish because it's going to release water and the flavor of radish is really nice in sambar. So two radish is needed and then you can take one big carrot and then one brinjal brinjal yes you need to add brinjal because it will add thickness to the uh, sambar if you don't add brinjal your sambar will be very thin so make sure to add one brinjal without fail and also it is uh, you know it adds a good flavor to the sambar you can try it out if you want uh, you know, uh, the samba without uh, adding brinjal and the samba with adding brinjal, it definitely adds taste to sambar. So please add it. And then next I have um, already washed the vegetables neatly. I use salt to wash it. You can also use vinegar or salt to wash the vegetables. And then one ripe tomato. Make sure the tomato is ripe. Otherwise the sambar taste will not be that nice. And make sure to cut the tomato because sometimes the tomato will be rotten inside. I have experienced that. And then half a cup of tur dal. I have neatly washed it already. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button please. And then I am adding two glasses of water. Or until all the ingredients are submerged in water. If you want your you know, sambar to be a little more thin, you can always add more water. And here I am taking little turmeric powder and then two tablespoon, 1 tablespoon of oil. You can make this sambar at least once or twice a week, it's so easy to make. And with one papad, it's gonna taste very nice. I've just added some salt into it. We are gonna add more salt later if required. And then close the lid and cook for five minutes. Uh, not five minutes, actually, just one whistle. So just one whistle is more than enough. Here we are getting the one whistle. Don't cook it more than one whistle. See, all our ingredients are nicely cooked. And now I'm adding two tablespoons of samba powder. Nicely mix it. And then we are just gonna add tarka to it. So that's it, our sambar is ready after the tarka. So it is that easy. So just one whistle and you can go ahead and add tarka to the vegetables by adding sambar powder. Here I have taken almost uh, 2 to 3 tablespoon of, uh, spoons of oil and some mustard seeds into it. I'll be adding onion and curry leaves and jeera some jeera, jeera, onions and curry leaves. Make sure the curry leaves are fresh. Even the curry leaves add flavor to the sambar. So make sure they are very fresh as you can see on the screen. And then fry it until the onions are brown. I think the onions are done now we can add the sambar into it so this is gonna taste just like hotel sambar and it's very easy to make now cook this until the raw smell is gone so now I'm adding little more salt Mix it well and cook it until you get the, get the nice aroma of sambar. At least for you know five to ten minutes. So 
so you can enjoy this sambar with hot rice some ghee and then one papad please consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos also there are other videos on my channel go and check it out they are quite interesting like unboxing channel and unbo unboxing videos so lots of videos learning videos lots of videos so check out my channel and kindly consider subscribing to my channel i am looking for more subscribers and i'll be happy to get more subscribers so also like and share my videos if you find it useful so here you can see how hot the rice and the sambar is this is going to be a good lunch or a dinner so that's it guys have a nice day bye bye be safe and stay safe bye